I was living in Brooklyn and he was in Paris and the whole film crew was in London so everybody was like emailing Wes about every detail of the film and he would always get back to us in like five minutes which made us think that maybe there are two of him or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like these because this is like the it has to be on a very tiny puppet mm -hmm. so that's why like it had to make an impact. This one was really funny because I drew these little kids and then we Oh wow, it. okay. Chill out. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> but actually, a few people got. I worked with directors who were more hands-on approach and who want to describe to you all the philosophy and the essence of the character. Wes Anderson comes more from the outside in, so he knows what he wants it to look like. And then you have to bring it to existence. You have to add the personality in there. I was, I, I draw sort of slowly, so I spend a lot of time with these characters and I definitely start to like them and develop feelings for them and I imagine what they would be like. Um, I can't get too attached because then the director will pick one of them and the other ones will never be in the movie. <laughs> Usually I like to uh, deal with, you know, darker themes of like drug abuse and racism and, and things of that sort. And I like to use characters like this one who are, you know, pretty cute and inviting and, and cartoony um, to sort of draw people in. And when they look closer at whatever he's marketing, they see that it's really, um, really dark.
Es geht wirklich um Bildkreaturen, Charaktere, visuelle Charaktere, die mit uns eine Empathie auslösen, die mit uns irgendwie emotional spielen, Affekte auslösen, die uns nicht wie ein Toilettenzeichen sagen, links, rechts, sondern Haltung, Attitude, Gefühle. Wir haben am Anfang immer gesagt, less is more, also wirklich Reduktion, äh, Minimalismus, weil man wirklich sich konzentriert auf das, worum es geht, diesen Kontakt herzustellen. Wenn man zu viel Informationen gibt, dann ist es, ähm, dann sagt man, nee, das ist nicht für mich, weil. Wenn aber die Reduktion da ist, dann ist es sehr offen und dann kann man alles rein projizieren als Menschen. Darum geht es bei Charakteren, dass wir eigentlich, wir projizieren den Charakter.